CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice PBQs. This video is part of our PBQ video series and is filled with information that will help you tackle some of CompTIA's challenging performance-based questions. In this particular video, we will be discussing network connectivity. Network cables and connectors form the physical infrastructure that underpins modern communication systems, facilitating the transmission of data across various devices and networks. From traditional telephone connections to high-speed fiber optic networks, each type of cable and connector serves a distinct purpose in building and maintaining connectivity. In this video, we will explore the different types of network cables, connectors, and tools along with their specific uses, starting with the traditional phone cable. Copper phone cables, although originally designed for voice communication, have evolved to support various data communication applications. While they still play a crucial role in landline telephone connections, phone cables are also commonly used for dial-up and DSL internet connections. Both these technologies allow data to be transmitted over existing phone lines enabling internet access for homes and businesses without the need for additional infrastructure. Phone cables are constructed with copper wires. These cables are then terminated with RJ11 connectors. The RJ11 connector can support up to six pins or positions into which wires can be inserted, but most use cases for the RJ11 connector only utilize two or four of those pins. To complete the connection, a crimper designed for RJ11 connectors is used to attach the cable securely, ensuring proper functionality within telephone systems. Once you have a properly constructed phone cable, it is now time to make some connections. For setting up a DSL or digital subscriber line connection, the phone cable provides a link between the RJ11 wall socket port and the DSL port on our router. Additionally, to connect a traditional landline phone to the router for voice communication, another phone cable is employed to bridge the phone port on the router to the RJ11 port on the landline phone. Similar to copper phone cables, Ethernet cables are indispensable components of modern communication networks. Ethernet cables, also known as CAT cables, are the backbone of wired network connections, offering high-speed data transmissions. These cables are designed to support various data communication applications, including internet access, file sharing, and network printing. Ethernet cables are commonly used in both residential and commercial environments to establish reliable network connections. Ethernet cables typically consist of eight copper wires, which are then twisted into color-coded pairs. At each end of the Ethernet cable, RJ45 connectors are attached. The RJ45 connector features eight pins or positions into which wires are inserted, allowing for robust connectivity. To complete the connection, a crimping tool designed for RJ45 connectors is used to attach the connectors securely to the Ethernet cable. Once you have a properly constructed Ethernet cable, it is time to establish network connections. Ethernet cables can be used to bridge the gap between devices and the internet by connecting from an ISP service outlet to the router's WAN port. Ethernet cables can also connect devices within your local area network, like servers, workstations, and printers by creating a link between the Ethernet port of a device and LAN port on a Sovo router. Additionally, Ethernet cables with RJ45 connectors can be used to connect devices such as wireless access points for wireless network expansion. Commercial grade switches for network segmentation and management. And the front of patch panels for organized cable termination. As for the back of a patch panel, this works a bit different than the front. Here, a punch-down tool is used instead of an RJ45 connector. This tool allows for the termination of the individual wires within the Ethernet cable onto the terminals of the patch panel. Each wire is carefully inserted into its corresponding slot on the patch panel, 
and the punch-down tool is used to secure the wire in place by pressing it down, effectively completing the connection. Next, we have coaxial cables. These copper cables are commonly used in broadband internet connections, particularly in cable internet services. Coaxial cables are specially designed to ensure that digital signals travel reliably over long distances. They consist of multiple layers, including a central conductor, a dielectric insulator, a braided shield, and an outer insulation layer. At each end of the coaxial cable, F-type connectors are typically attached. These connectors play a crucial role in establishing connections between devices, such as cable modems and the cable network, enabling high-speed internet access for homes and businesses. Additionally, to attach F-type connectors securely to coaxial cables, a coaxial crimper is often used, ensuring a proper and reliable connection for uninterrupted internet service. Moving on, we have fiber optic cables. These cables stand at the forefront of high-speed data transmission technology, boasting the ability to convey vast amounts of data over extensive distances at remarkable speeds. These cables rely on strands of glass or plastic fibers to transmit data using light signals, ensuring minimal signal degradation and facilitating high data transfer rates. Among the most common types of fiber optic cables are those terminated with ST, LC, and SC connectors, each serving distinct roles in network installations. ST, or straight tip connectors, known for their bayonet style coupling mechanism, have historically been prevalent in older network setups due to their durability and ease of use. LC, or lucent connectors, on the other hand, have gained popularity in modern installations for their compact size and high performance, making them ideal for high-density applications like data centers. SC, or subscriber connectors, featuring a push-pull coupling mechanism, offer ease of installation and removal along with reliability and versatility in various data communications and telecommunications networks. In addition to these connectors, Fiber optic cables often require the use of an optical crimper for proper termination. The optical crimper is a specialized tool used to attach SD, LC, and SC connectors to fiber optic cables securely. And with that last bit of knowledge grasped, you should now be ready to handle any PPQs about network connectivity. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.